Faculty Folder In this video we will see how to add attendance and lecture topic, how to share assignments with students, and sharing soft material with students in Faculty Portal. Add attendance and lecture topic. After login, you will see the main dashboard, click on My Courses. You will see Offered Courses list. Click on a course, you will see the registered students list. Here is the date of lecture conducted, start time, and end time. We can change the start and end times. We have introduced a new option here, you can click on the checkbox, if the lecture is conducted online, otherwise keep uncheck this option. Type your lecture topic here, like introduction to compiler, you can also write short summary. Here at top, you can see the selected course and in type you can select class, lab, exam etc. Now we are selecting class from here. For attendance click on present, it will mark attendance for all, then you can change status to absent for students which are not present. Now you can submit the complete class attendance details. The submit button is available at the top and bottom, click on it. You will see the pop-up do you want to submit the attendance? Click yes, you will find confirmation attendance submitted successfully. You can see, this attendance is added at the top. You can view it, by clicking view icon, you can also delete, or edit this. Attendance addition, modification and deletion should be submitted within the specified timeframe. Post an assignment and sharing with students. After login you will get dashboard, click on my docs, this will show a list of documents shared till now, including document title, document type, description, date uploaded, share, file, edit and delete options. If we have to add a document, first of all you will go to the add document option, a new screen will open to upload a document. Under my doc type, there are three options, document, link, or faculty document, currently this option is under development, so consider the first two options. We will select type as document, under title we will type, assignment 5, under description, we can write any details, now click on choose button, it will browse, you can navigate to folder where you have placed documents. Select assignment 5 and click open, your document is selected, now click on save. You will see that assignment 5 is uploaded properly, there are options to share, view, edit or delete this document, first click on share. Here you will see two options. Either you want to share as assignment, or want to share other content. We will select assignment, you will see a pop-up, with many options. First of all select share type, either to share with class, group, student or others. Select class, and you will see all your registered courses here. You can select any of them or you can select all. It will be shared with all you select here, from here you will select, theory or lab, you can create a group of some specific students, you want to add in a group. You can make multiple groups to share different assignments. We will discuss about group shortly in this video. Share with specific students, if you want to share with specific students, first select student from here. You will see all registered courses, select a course, then you will find a list of all students, you can select one, two or multiple students or select all to share assignment with them. For now we are sharing with a class, let's select this class. We can post this assignment for specific time. Select your start date and time. Also there will be an end date and time. You can add some description here, if any. Now click on save, you will see a pop-up message with confirmation. This assignment has been shared with all students in the selected class. If students log in in their portal, they will see this assignment shared with 283 students. Here students count will be changed when they will upload assignments. Currently submitted by zero students and all pending. You can click any of the numbers to see a detailed list, like click on total it will show all students list. You can also download it. Or you can click on submitted students on old records, it will open complete list of all submitted students. Also, you can see pending list, you can also delete any assignment from delete icon. How to create a group? Go to group from top menu. From sub menu, click on add group. First you have to type a name for group. 
Let's suppose we want to create a group with particular students, select one by one and add in group. Click on save, pop-up message will confirm that group is created. Now you can see group is showing on main screen. You can edit this group, like you want to add more students, click on edit icon. Also you can delete this group, or you can send email to this group. How to share assignment to a group? Go to my docs again, click on share, now you can share with group, click on group, you will see here group is added. Click and select group, now this will be shared with group, rest all things are same. Start date with time and end date with time. Click on save. Now it is shared. How to share content with students? Go to my docs, click on add docs, type the title, let's suppose course content, write description here. Document type will be document, choose file, browse to folder and select your course content file. Click on save. Pop-up will show that content is successfully posted. Go to share, here we did assignment previously, this time you will go to share my docs. Now you will select material type, here you will find a list of items, you want to describe as material type. Reading material, quiz, course content, solution, article etc. Then you can type details here. We are going to share this material with a class. We can select all courses or any of the offered courses. Students can download this material anytime. So there is no need to put time or date for this. Click on save. Pop-up will show that course content is successfully shared. Here you can see all about this shared material, type, shared with, title. No response from students is required, so this is just sharing details. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to contact CU online.